video is a very, very, very requested video. It's uh, how I film, edit, and all that stuff, but I'm just gonna call it a YouTube guide. I will talk about planning, filming, editing, how to grow your channel. If you wanna know how to do that, stay tuned. I'm gonna get started, and if I'm looking down on my phone, that's because I have everything written on there. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Whoosh. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is planning. And when making a channel, you have to have a channel name. And you want to make this something that, that's easy to memorize. So pe when people like recommend your channel to their friends, they can just be like, Oh, you should check out Wendy Medina's channel. Make it your name, make it something catchy, like Makeup by Mandy. Don't make it something complicated like Beauty Guru 25781 because no one's going to memorize that. If you already have a channel, I suggest having a journal or using the notes app like I am. Plan your videos ahead because when it's last minute and you're just like, oh, let's make this video really quick, it's not going to be a good video if you rushed everything. If you don't have any video ideas, get inspiration from others. Those are all my tips for planning. Now we're going to talk about filming. The camera I use is the Canon Rebel T3i and I use the kit lens. It comes with the 18 and 55 millimeter lens. And most people think, oh, I should get the Canon Rebel T3i, I should get the Canon 7DD. It's the lens that matters. It's not the camera body you have. The Sigma 30mm f1.4 lens, that lens blurs so much. Like, there's certain types of lenses for everything, like, hold on. Like, I have this lens. It's mostly for, like, zooming in. Like, and to stock your crush, just kidding. There's certain lens made for a specific thing. But then there's, like, smaller lens that are, like, more for close-ups and portraits and all that. You don't need a professional camera to be a YouTuber. Like, no big YouTuber ever started out with, like, boom, great quality. They started out with, like, an iPod and probably, like, a stack of books as a tripod. Everyone started somewhere. Work with what you got. Another tip I have is teaching your friends how to use your camera. If you have, like, a DSLR, teach them how to work the camera because you don't want them to film you and then all your shots are out of focus plus it's also fun to like hang out and film i don't know that's just me personally like when i have friends film me it's like fun to just hang out i don't know i don't know is that just me if you normally do like sit down talking videos i suggest getting a tripod i have the targus tripod it's from walmart i got it for like 30 bucks but it broke <laughs> But it still works, so I still use it. And if you're looking for more professional tripods, I suggest the Man Manfrotto brand tripods because I've used those before and oh my god, they are so good. They are so easy to use and I just, I just want one. <laughs> so I don't use any soft boxes or like any of that. I just use natural lighting from my window and sometimes I combine it with the lamp. I like show you guys a picture of my setup right here. If you don't have money for like soft boxes or anything, I suggest just getting a white light bulb because that's what I have. Now on the camera, there are some settings that you can use to like make your shot brighter or darker. If you move the scrolly thingy and there's a button that says AV and then has like a plus and a minus sign. If you press that at the same time as you're using the scrolly thingy, it'll make your shot darker or brighter. When I'm sitting down and talking and I'm filming, I tend to have it at 30 frames per second. If I'm like outside, then I change it to 60 frames per second. That way I have more control on editing to like slow down a clip and speed it up. It just makes it look way better if you have it at 60 frames per second. And the way to change those settings is by pressing the Q button and then pressing the arrows and go down to like this part. It tells you the dimensions of the video and then you use a scrolly thingy and it'll like scroll through the types of dimensions and frames per seconds and stuff and it'll change that and I'll show you guys an example right here of a, sh of a shot in 30 frames per second and then here's a shot uh, in 60 frames per second. Do you see the difference? Do you see how good that looks? Now my final filming tip is to not fire hose. Now Wendy what is fire hosing? It's this. My best tip is to do slow shots. Then in editing, you can just speed it up. Just keep everything steady, slow. Now to the part everyone has been waiting for, editing. 
So the computer I used to edit on is my iMac and I use the software iMovie. For voiceovers, I use the like built-in mic on my Beats. If you want better like voiceovers, then I suggest getting a blue snowball mic. It's wonderful. It's like one of the best mics out there to be honest because I've used it before and it's like, yes. For editing, I sometimes use Gabrielle Marie's like green screens and transitions that she makes. I'm going to link her channel down below so you guys can check it out and use her green screens because they're really cool and useful when you don't have Final Cut Pro. But most of the time I actually make my own and I'm going to teach you guys how I do that. So to make your own transition, go on PicMonkey and select 2000 by 2000 and make the background transparent. Add the pictures you want for a transition and make sure it goes from the top to bottom. Save it to the desktop, then select the wipe transition and put the overlay, the picture that we just made, on top of it. And select the picture and go to the crop settings. And select Ken Burns and make the picture slide the way you want. Because you can make it slide here, 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 here all that. Then match it up with the transition so you don't see the wipe line, like the transition. And that's basically how I make a transition. And I also make my own text titles and it's basically the same thing as a transition. So just like the transition, I make my text title in PicMonkey. And then you add it to the project using Ken Burns to make it slide. So you make it slide in and then it freezes and then you make it slide out. And that's basically it. It takes a while to get the hang of it, but like after practicing you'll like you'll be like bam 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 and in like 30 seconds you'll probably be done or something. So personally when I edit I have to choose a song before I start putting the clips because I want to make it match the beats to the song. And when choosing a song, I, I like to choose songs that have like a beat like, let's, let's find one. Listen to that goodness. Every time I edit a video, I have like a bajillion clips, no lie. And to make it easier to edit, I favorite them. And what that means is you highlight a certain section of the clip so you don't have to like skim through the whole clip and find that one piece you want. The two buttons you're using are the I, O, and the F button. I is for in, O is for out, F is for favorite. So you select where you want it to start and press I. You play it through until you want it to end and then you press O and then you press favorite and it'll highlight that clip for you and you can find it in your favorites folder. To make a clip more colorful, just go to the art palette and the rainbow thingy, just bring it up. But don't bring it up like to the point where your skin is orange and everything's just like, it barfed the rainbow basically. Like for example, you don't want this. You want this. <laughs> so people ask me how I made my channel art and it's really easy actually. You just go to PicMonkey and make sure the dimensions are 2560 2, by 1440 because that's like the dimensions for the channel banner. Then there's like a YouTube layout thing that you put on top so you know where to put your text and stuff. And then I just added a watercolor PNG file and put my name on it and it was, it was that easy. At the end of every video I have my signature end slate and it has this song. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that song. So how I made it is again PicMonkey and a good end slate normally has social media links, a subscribe button, and a previous video section. And then I also made these pictures that go along with the song, so like bam 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 bam. I made a separate project for my end slate just because it's easier to copy and paste it and like it saves me time instead of re-editing it every single video I make, if that makes sense, so yeah. Now on to the last part of this YouTube guide, growing your channel. So a great way to grow your channel is by collabing with people, collab with your friends. Another way to grow your channel is by doing giveaways and 
like it's just fun to give back to your subscribers and it's really cool because you get people to like see your channel and they're like oh this person's pretty cool subscribe please. thumbnails are really important so a thumbnail is something that people see before they watch your video so if you have a thumbnail with like cool things and it's really well edited people are automatically gonna assume oh they must have edited their video really well so, and then they'll click on it my biggest tip when becoming a youtuber or being a youtuber is being unique because having the same thing of everything gets boring be unique that ends this whole youtube guide i hope you guys learned a lot because i'm pretty sure this video is really long if you guys want to see like more youtube videos or stuff like maybe more in depth on filming maybe how i film or like like live behind the scenes give this video a thumbs up and comment down below your youtube channel advertise yourself down below with that said i will see you guys next week with another video which will probably be a valentine's day video so look out for that subscribe to see that bye hello it's me Great, it makes a video. I just dropped my phone right now. Because. No, 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 no. I think something, something broke. <laughs> yeah. Uh.